Though they cover only 7% of the world's land surface, tropical forests shelter more than half of the world's plant and animal species, providing a reliable supply of clean, fresh water and air. Africa is home to the world's second largest rainforest, the Congo Basin, which supports millions of people and countless living things that exist nowhere else on Earth, such as the endangered chimpanzee. Yet, Africa is losing 10 million acres of its forests every year, twice the world's average deforestation rate, putting chimpanzees and other species in terrible jeopardy. Even the chimps at Gombe, although they're perfectly safe within their national park, it's a very tiny national park. Today, outside this tiny 30 square mile oasis of forest, the trees have gone. People have moved right up to the boundaries of the park. One of the biggest threats to Gombe National Park has actually been deforestation. And that's mostly communities going out and cutting, you know, forests for either firewood or to have more land for agriculture. Habitat is lost when roads are put in for logging or logging concessions are granted or when farmers simply slash and burn the local forest in order to provide uh, new room for crops. Tropical forests are the lungs of the earth. They absorb and store carbon dioxide and release oxygen into the atmosphere. 20% of greenhouse gases come from deforestation. It's as simple as that. And the trees of the Congo Basin and the Amazon rainforest are, they're tropical trees, it's a tropical environment, they grow faster, they absorb more carbon dioxide than forests anywhere else on Earth. Whenever forests are destroyed, the carbon stored in the trees and the soil below is released into the atmosphere, rapidly accelerating climate change. In Sub-Saharan Africa, the Jane Goodall Institute is engaged in a major effort to protect the forests and the chimpanzees that depend on them. What we've done is to try to work to reforest areas and to teach uh, farming methods that aren't destructive. The Institute also uses satellite imagery and conservation action planning to help local communities recognize deforestation effects and regenerate forest lands near chimp habitats. JGI has been going out to the communities and planting fast-growing species of trees so that the communities have access to firewood in their own areas, woodlots within the community, so they don't have to go into the forest to harvest some of these um, trees that we have there. You see exactly here? Yeah. Um, you have this stump. That, okay. That used to be a huge tree. All this is one stump. Oh, and right. it was cut um, for firewood. Okay. And for um, house, uh, house building purposes, uh -huh. they, they got the wood. And okay. this was there dormant for years, until when we protected people from coming in and, and um, um, cutting more trees. Then wow. you see how it has regenerated. It's That's just, so the roots live under, yes. the, you know, they're, they're dormant under there. Exactly. And then if you leave it alone and don't burn it and don't cut it, yeah. it comes up and, you know, these are 17, exactly. 15 foot tall trees. Exactly. That's so, just amazing. It's just great to see our conservation effort. Thanks to the efforts of JGI and the local community, the forests around Gumbe are slowly starting to regenerate. Still, there is much more work to be done. We all share responsibility in saving Africa's tropical forests and improving the plight of chimpanzees. Sometimes we tend to exclude people from the environment, yeah. but they're part of the environment. Mm -hmm. and as Jane says, unless we work together with people surrounding the Gombe National Park, yeah. we'll have their consent to, to protect the wildlife. And this is what we are doing all this, mm -hmm. centered at conserving the, the chimpanzees of Gombe. With your help, we can make sure there's a brighter future for our environment and Africa's chimpanzees.